So now that you have the definition of water quality, that it has to do with how that water is being used and those physical, uh, chemical, and biological um, indicators, uh, I want to talk about how that water quality gets degraded and what are the causes of that degradation. So water quality can be degraded by um, both natural causes and um, human by human activities. And some of those natural causes are wildfires, which is something we should be considering right now in terms of um, materials that uh, and, and chemicals that are going to come off um, forested areas after these wildfires. Volcanic eruptions because of all the um, aerosols that go into the air and uh, the ash is going to go into streams that can um, de degrade water quality and large rainstorms because they can um, produce a lot of runoff that's going to degrade the water quality in streams. But water quality is mainly degraded by the activity of humans and the main source of that degradation is going to be pollution and that's both from um, chemicals and from sediments being put into the stream. So when we're examining um, the pollution in the watershed and we're looking for the source, we look for two types of sources. One is a point source and the other is called a non-point source. And I'm going to explain what those are in the next couple of slides. So a point source is a single identifiable source of pollution. And you can see that in this um, picture here where you have one area where that pollution is going out into this waterway. So that um, type of pollution, um, possibly there's some kind of um, factory up here or some kind of industrial use there. Uh, sewage plants are main sources of um, point source pollution. And once they're easily identified, then um, restoration and monitoring can happen to improve the water quality. The other type of or source of pollution is this non-point source. And this is a major concern because this is going to be coming from multiple sources that are going to be difficult to identify. And some of those are sediments that are coming from erosion. Um, perhaps if there's a lot of um, roads in a watershed or a lot of um, construction going on, um, but you can't quite pinpoint exactly where the erosion is coming from. Also excess nutrients coming from fertilizers, from agriculture, and perhaps there's a lot of farms and you can't quite tell which farm is producing which fertilizers, but you know that it, it's coming from those. So those are what we call non-point source sources of pollution. Now in terms of uh, water degradation, um, the trends for pollution are have improved um, considerably since the 1970s and that would be when I was a young girl. So I remember when um, rivers were quite polluted. But still today, 53% uh, of rivers and streams are impaired and I'm going to have you do a little exercise where you'll look at a USGS site that um, shows you some trends on specific rivers. So uh, look for that in the module. In terms of internationally, that uh, um, was the U.S. Um, situation, but internationally, uh, water quality is a major problem. It's been a major problem in developing countries, and um, human populations have really impacted streams. In some countries, they just um, pour their pollution right into the streams and and it's it's caused some major health problems for uh, different populations around the world. And that um, pollution of those waterways is, is a major issue. And one of the things that has happened is that U.S. companies have been able to go overseas. And because they are not um, having to adhere to the environmental laws that we have in our country, they've been able to do cause pollution in other countries. So this is uh, a sad and uh, serious issue that uh, should be considered when you're thinking about water quality. So in summary, uh, water quality degradation can happen naturally through wildfires, volcanic eruptions, and rainstorms. 
And pollution is the main source of water quality degradation, and that's coming mainly from human activities. And that's happening both in the U.S. and internationally. So that pollution can be point source, meaning it's chemicals or sediments coming from an identifiable source, or it can be non-point source, and that can be um, sediments that are coming from um, road building or logging in watersheds and fertilizers or any other chemicals that are added in the watershed um, when you have a lot of different areas that are uh, a lot of different agricultural areas in your watershed it's going to be hard to pinpoint exactly where the problem is coming from but um, in terms of trends water quality has improved in the U.S. Um, but um, today there is some mixed trends on some rivers and I'm going to have you investigate that in an exercise here in this module.